everyone and welcome. I'm Miss Karen from A Time for Kids. Welcome to our online story time. What we're going to do today, we'll start out with some music and movement. So we always do our two favorite songs. We'll begin with our hello song, followed by our train song. We'll get up, we'll move around a little bit, and then we're going to settle down. We're going to do um, a craft activity, and then we're going to read some stories. All right, so A Time for Kids is a preschool readiness program. So all the activities that we do are geared to get your child ready for school. So we do things like music, movement, fine motor development, gross motor development, storytelling, and craft, trying to work all aspects of child development. And tonight we have a special theme. We are talking all about Brown Bear, Brown Bear. So boys and girls, let's get ready to have some fun. Everybody, let's wave those hands to sing hello. Now we're gonna take our hands. Can you guys wave them up high, stretch them out? Now we're going to take those hands. Can you wave them down? No. And can you wave them really fast? Wave them fast. And now let's wave them really slow. All right, you guys, if your hands are not ready yet, let's do some more exercises. Can you take your hands? Can you put them on your head? Can you put them on your belly? Can you put them on your knees? Touch your knees. Can you put them on your toes? Touch those toes, good. Can you put them on your hips? Those are over here, you can wiggle them like this. Make sure they're in the right place. Can you put them on your shoulders up here? Can you put them on your chin? Can you put them on your cheeks? Can you put them on your ears? And can you put them on your nose? Touch your nose. Good listening, you guys. And grown-ups, the reason I do that is when your child goes to public school kindergarten, they will give them an evaluation and they ask them body parts. So while you're teaching them all of their body parts, make sure you throw in some more obscure ones. Teach them things like knuckle, wrist, earlobe, eyebrow. We want to make their knowledge base as deep as we can. All right, you guys, I know your hands are ready, so let's keep waving them. We're gonna get ready to sing our hello song and welcome everybody to our story time. So here we go. If you're new to the program, the songs we use are very repetitive, so just jump in when you know the words. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. And we just keep repeating that with words. me. Hello.
you, you oh, how, how would you wave you with your hand? Today. And how do you wave? Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Here comes my silly mom. Uh, can you wave, wave with your, your tongue? tongue? Think about your tongue. Can you sing and wave with your tongue at the same time? train song. So if you're new to the program, boys and girls, we're going to make our arms be like the wheels on the train. We're going to chug a chug around in whatever space you're in. And we're going to move that train like it's on the tracks. And at different points, we're going to stop the train and we're going to do some big arm movements. So again, the song is very repetitive, grown-ups. We're repeating and we're repeating because we're building those brain connections. Now we're working in some gross motor skills. So we're talking about those big muscle groups. So when we stop the train the first time, we're gonna to get to the conductor and the conductor is gonna go all aboard. So we're gonna say all aboard and we're gonna make our arms do these big scooping motions like this, all right? The next stop we're gonna to get to on the train is for the whistle. And for the whistle, we are going to reach our arms way up high. We're gonna pull down the whistle like this and we're gonna say woo woo. Ooh, just like that. The next stop we get to on the train, the people. And the people on the train go jabba, 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 jabba. And we're gonna squish our fingers like this, all right? After that, we're gonna get to the engine. And the engine shakes, so we're gonna give it a little shimmy shake, 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 like this. And the last stop we get to on the train is for the brakes. So when we get to the brakes, we're going to push our arms out really strong like this and we're gonna stop the train and we're gonna say screech and make the noise of the train brakes. All right, you guys, let's stand on up. We're going on a train ride. Here we go. So whatever space you're in, we're gonna move around. It could be your office, your living room, your den. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, the engine goes, and the people go, jab, 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 yeah, the people 
go chap 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 and the whistle, whistle. goes Ooh. Ooh. oh the whistle, whistle. goes Ooh. Ooh. the conductor, conductor. goes all aboard and it always ends up here there's a train and a ride through the town and the country's far and where it goes nobody knows but it always ends up here and the brakes go screech oh the brakes go screech yeah the brakes go screech and the engine goes tonight. So what we're going to do, we're going to settle down so you guys can have a seat and we are going to change our energy from just moving around and we're going to slide that energy down so that we can focus a little bit on a story and on a craft. Transitioning is very important. We always want to watch that energy flow so that we can help the kids concentrate. All right, boys and girls, we are going to get ready to work with our hands. So let's bring some attention to our hands like this. Bring your hands together. We're gonna rub them together like this, creating some warmth, and let's sing. Rub your hands together, rub your hands together, rub your hands together, here with a time for kids. Now clap your hands. Clap your hands together, clap your hands together, clap your hands together, here with a time for kids. And find your knees. Tap your knees together, tap your knees together, tap your knees together, here with a time for kids. Good job. All right, so again, girls, it's very important, again, to transition from one activity to the next, especially if they have different levels of energy that are required. All right, you guys, we are gonna read our story tonight about Brown Bear, Brown Bear. All right, but before we do that, we're gonna get ready to make a Brown Bear craft. And what you're gonna need for this craft is pretty simple. Um, you can print this off of the computer. You can go on Pinterest and look up a bear. You could just draw a bear if you would like. Very simple outline of a bear, all right? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a box, just a flat box that we can place that bear inside. All right, I'm gonna place my bear inside the box and that's gonna catch the little bit of a mess that we're gonna make, all right? Then I'm gonna need some glue, just like this, and I'm going to need a little bit of coffee, just one scoop of coffee. So grown-ups, just um, for an idea, this is kind of gonna be similar to working with glitter, but a lot neater, all right? And the reason I chose coffee is because we're looking to um, access some of their senses, all right? So when we wanna teach kids, we want to teach them um, about sensory development. And sensory develop means that we try to access as many of their different senses. So we know we have five different senses, boys and girls, right? Five, we can see things, we can smell things, we can taste things, we can hear things, and we can touch things. Okay, and grown-ups, the more your child can engage the different senses, the stronger their brain connections will be. So if you have an activity that you could hear it, you could see it, you could touch it, you could taste it, you could smell it, all the better. All right, so I chose coffee because boys and girls, when you smell coffee, it is really strong. So girls, if you have any coffee around, you can certainly let your kids smell that to see what it smells like. Again, that boosts some memory. Think of a time in your life where you went to maybe the beach or somewhere else and you remember the way it smelled or you remember the way it sounded or you remembered the way you tasted maybe the salt water on your lips. 
those all helped you to form that memory. It's the same with kids and learning, all right? So here we go, boys and girls. I'm gonna take my glue. I have my little bear in my box. I'm just gonna drizzle some glue. I don't wanna to go too crazy, right? I'm just gonna drizzle it, creating a little bit of a design on my bear, right? Very, very simple. All right, I'll show you what that looks like. Just a quick craft like that. I don't know if you could see my little glue drops. All right, and then what I do is I open up my can of coffee. I just take one little scoop. See, it's not a big scoop at all. And I'm gonna sprinkle it. Doesn't really matter because I'm gonna give it a shimmy shake. I'm gonna sprinkle it across my picture like that. And then, boys and girls, this is the fun part. Now I'm just gonna move, shimmy shake, shimmy shake. I'm gonna shake up my box like this and all of the coffee is gonna stick to where the glue is, all right? And now my bear that was white before looks like this. He's my brown bear, brown bear now, all right? So it's a great idea, grownups, and, and once you let this dry, this doesn't make as much of a mess as glitter does, grownups. You won't find it all over the place. Um, and the more you do, or the different ways you spread out the glue, the di more different your bears might look. I have one that looks like this. He looks a little bit fuzzier. I think we used a glue stick for him. Uh, this guy's a little more drizzly. He's my drizzly bear. Um, so it really depends on what you want, but certainly feel free to experiment. Let your kids try it out. Um, if you want to do something, I think over the summer too, you could try print out a picture of a sand castle. If you get playground sand, let your kids take the sand in between their hands. Put it on the picture like that with the glue. They'll feel the sand, okay? And they'll get to see it and they'll make a raised um, textured drawing, okay? So textured learning is really good. All right, boys and girls, so now that we made our brown bear craft and you guys can do that um, at another time, we are gonna get ready to read one of my favorite stories about brown bear, all right? So most of you will know this book, which is great. This is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And this is by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. And this book was published by Henry Holt and Company. And it's called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And here we go. And if you know the words, you can read along with me. Here we go. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. What does that bird say? Tweet, 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 tweet. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. What does the duck say? Quack, 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 quack. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. What does the horsey say? Nay, nay. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Ribbit, ribbit. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Meow, meow. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Woof, 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 woof. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Ba, ba. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. What do you think a goldfish says? Does he blow bubbles maybe? Might sound like bloop, 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 bloop. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me, like Miss Karen. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Look at all those children. And children, children, what do you see? We see, ready? We'll go through all of them. So we're gonna do their colors. 
we see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. The end. And that's my story. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? All right, and we made our other brown bear craft before and we put it together with this book. And that's another great idea, grown-ups, for a lesson plan. If you have a book and you can do a craft and do a story craft together, it really will solidify that lesson, bringing a theme to it. It makes more of those brain connections and helps the kids to remember. All right, you guys, we are gonna finish with skidamarink. So if you have any musical instruments around, you might have bells, you might have a maraca, you might have a tambourine. Um, if you don't have any musical instruments, you can go get two spoons. Spoons make good music too, right? We can clang two spoons together like this and make some music. And if you don't have any of that stuff available, certainly we have two hands and we can clap our hands together. You might be able to snap your fingers together and we can make music that way. All right, so if you wanna stand on up and join me in our final dance, we are gonna do Skidamarink, and here we go. Let's get ready with some music, and we are gonna do Skidamarink. I'm gonna use my bells tonight. <laughs> program tonight. I hope you make lots of memories, read lots of books, make lots of crafts. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's always a great time when it's a time for kids. Again, I'm Miss Karen. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.